Lena is still a very active, active crime scene. I want to get out of the way and show you what's going on. Firefighters and police are still trying to piece together what happened. They will say, only say at this point that two bodies were found inside a burned out home. We actually have video of that burned out home. A firefighter on the scene, though, tells us this is where the shooting rampage all started. This video was shot just before noon today. A neighbor who lives right next door to the home tells us about 20 years ago, a mother father and two sons moved into the home. He says some years ago, there was a very bitter divorce. One of the sons went to live with the mother. The other son stayed here living with the father. Now, if we come back out here alive, I want to show you what that witness tells us happened next. You might notice that infinity over there. He says he saw a man standing over there on, on the street dressed all in black. He says originally he thought that it was a police officer. So he says the man had what looked like an AK-47 style weapon upright in his hand. He says next to him was a woman who looked distraught and a Mazda. He says the man then started firing indiscriminately into that infinity, which just happened to be passing by. He says a woman in that car was hit. Another witness tells us he rushed to help. He says the woman told him that asked rather if uh, she'd been shot in the head. He says she had not, that she'd actually been shot in the neck. She was on the phone to her husband. She he said that she was lucid and he believed he would be okay. At that point, the neighbor and other witnesses tell us they turned around and noticed that a house was on fire. Now, the neighbor who lives immediately next to that house says he's been living there for more than 20 years. And he says that the person, the gunman, looked to him to be the son that lived in the house. And he said the woman that was next to him, standing outside of the Mazda, he believed was his mother. He said the mother drove a car very much like that. Now, at this point, again, investigators are still on the scene trying to piece all the, what happened, trying to piece it all together. What we have noticed, though, is that several witnesses tell us they heard several shots fired. We're not seeing any evidence markers. It's not clear why we're not seeing those. Usually, police and investigators will put evidence markers next to shell casings, but with so many scenes, it might just be a matter of time before they get out here and process the scene. We'll keep you posted. For now, I'm live in Santa Monica. Let's send it back to you. Again, we want to say a lot of this is